The Top 10 Worst Ways to Die Hey there, welcome to our channel see you at the top 10. Today's video is about the top 10 worst ways to die. While death is an inevitable part of life, the manner in which it occurs can be a terrifying and distressing experience. In this video, we'll be exploring some of the most painful, agonizing, and gruesome ways in which a person can meet their end. While this topic may be unsettling, it's important to acknowledge the risks and take steps to prevent accidents and injuries. So, without further ado, let's dive into the list of the top 10 worst ways to die. Number 1. Burning Death by burning is a terrifying and excruciating way to die. When a person is engulfed in flames, their skin and flesh can quickly begin to char and blister, causing intense pain and tissue damage. In addition to the physical trauma, the heat from the fire can cause the person's internal organs to shut down, leading to death. The inhalation of hot smoke and toxic gases can also cause respiratory failure, which can quickly lead to death. While death by burning is a rare occurrence, it can happen in a variety of situations, including house fires, car accidents, and workplace incidents. It's important to take steps to prevent fires, such as installing smoke detectors, practicing fire safety, and being cautious around open flames. Number 2. Drowning. Death by drowning is a distressing and painful way to die. When a person is submerged in water, they are unable to breathe, causing them to feel like they're suffocating. As the body struggles for air, the person can experience intense panic and fear. In addition to the psychological trauma, the lack of oxygen can cause damage to the body's tissues and organs, leading to cardiac arrest and death. Drowning can occur in a variety of situations, including swimming accidents, boating mishaps, and floods. It's important to always take precautions when in or around water, such as wearing life jackets, swimming in designated areas, and being aware of potential hazards. Knowing how to swim and perform basic water rescue techniques can also be helpful in preventing drowning incidents. Number 3. Electrocution. Electrocution is a deadly and painful way to die that occurs when a person comes into contact with an electrical current. The electrical current can cause severe muscle contractions, tissue damage, and cardiac arrest. The severity of the injuries depends on the voltage of the current, the length of exposure, and the path the current takes through the body. Electrocution can occur in a variety of situations, including electrical accidents at home, work, or in outdoor settings. It's important to take precautions around electrical sources, such as avoiding touching electrical wires, using ground fault circuit interrupters GFCIs, and having a professional handle electrical repairs or installations. Number 4. Suffocation. Suffocation is a terrifying and distressing way to die. It occurs when a person is unable to breathe and is deprived of oxygen. This can happen in a variety of ways, such as being trapped in a confined space, having an object blocking the airway, or being in an environment with low oxygen levels. The lack of oxygen can cause the person to experience panic, fear, and confusion, as their body struggles for air. The longer the person is without oxygen, the more damage is done to the body's tissues and organs, leading to eventual death. It's important to take precautions to prevent suffocation incidents, such as keeping hazardous materials locked away, being cautious around machinery and heavy equipment, and ensuring that ventilation is adequate in confined spaces. In addition, Knowing basic first aid techniques, such as CPR, can be helpful in emergency situations. Number 5. Radiation Poisoning. Radiation poisoning, also known as radiation sickness, is a serious and potentially fatal condition that occurs when a person is exposed to high levels of ionizing radiation. This type of radiation can damage cells and DNA in the body, leading to a variety of symptoms, including nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and hair loss. In severe cases, radiation poisoning can lead to organ failure, infection, 
and death. Radiation exposure can occur in a variety of ways, including accidents at nuclear power plants, exposure to medical radiation, and exposure to radioactive materials. It's important to take precautions to prevent radiation exposure, such as wearing protective gear when working with radioactive materials following safety protocols at nuclear facilities, and avoiding unnecessary exposure to medical radiation in the event of a radiation emergency. Number 6. Crushed or Trapped Death by being crushed or trapped is a horrifying and painful way to die. It occurs when a person's body is compressed or trapped under heavy objects, machinery, or in confined spaces. This can lead to severe injuries, such as broken bones, internal bleeding, and organ damage. The pressure on the body can also cause the person to suffocate or experience cardiac arrest. Crushing and trapping incidents can occur in a variety of situations, including workplace accidents, construction mishaps, and natural disasters. It's important to take precautions to prevent these types of incidents, such as following safety protocols, wearing proper protective gear, and being aware of potential hazards. Number 7. Strangulation Strangulation is a lethal form of asphyxiation that occurs when pressure is applied to the neck, restricting blood flow and oxygen to the brain. This can lead to loss of consciousness, brain damage, and death. Strangulation can be caused by a variety of means, such as manual pressure with the hands, ligatures, or other objects. It can occur in a variety of situations, including domestic violence, sexual assault, and homicides. It's important to seek help immediately if you or someone you know is experiencing any form of abuse or violence. In addition, taking self-defense classes and knowing basic first aid techniques, such as how to perform CPR, can be helpful in emergency situations. Number 8. Starvation or Dehydration Starvation or dehydration can be a slow and painful way to die. When a person does not receive adequate nutrition or water, their body begins to shut down and organs can fail. This can cause symptoms such as weakness, fatigue, confusion, and dizziness. Over time, starvation or dehydration can lead to a weakened immune system, organ damage, and eventual death. These conditions can occur in a variety of situations, such as in cases of extreme poverty, natural disasters, or during periods of fasting. It's important to ensure that you have access to adequate food and water, especially in emergency situations. In addition, knowing basic first aid techniques, such as how to administer fluids intravenously, can be helpful in emergency situations. Number 9. Poisoning. Poisoning is a serious and potentially fatal condition that occurs when a person ingests, inhales, or comes into contact with a toxic substance. The severity of the poisoning depends on the type of poison, the amount ingested, and the person's overall health. Common symptoms of poisoning include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness, confusion, and difficulty breathing. In severe cases, Poisoning can lead to organ failure, seizures, coma, and death. Poisoning can occur in a variety of situations, such as accidental ingestion of household cleaners or pesticides, intentional ingestion of drugs or chemicals, and exposure to toxic gases or fumes. It's important to take precautions to prevent poisoning incidents such as storing hazardous materials out of reach of children, following safety protocols when working with chemicals, and using protective gear when handling toxic substances. Number 10. Being eaten alive. Being eaten alive is a gruesome and terrifying way to die. It occurs when a person is attacked and consumed by animals, such as sharks, crocodiles, or other predators. The process can be extremely painful as the animal tears through the person's flesh and organs, causing severe injuries and blood loss. In some cases, the person may still be alive and conscious during the attack. Being eaten alive can occur in a variety of situations, 
such as while swimming in the ocean or while exploring wildlife habitats. It's important to take precautions to avoid situations where animal attacks may occur, such as avoiding swimming in areas known to have dangerous wildlife or staying on marked trails in wildlife habitats. In addition, carrying appropriate safety gear, such as pepper spray or air horns, can be helpful in deterring animal attacks. The you have it the top 10 worst ways to die. We hope that you found the information both informative and helpful. Remember, while these situations are extremely rare, it's important to take precautions to prevent accidents and emergencies. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you at the top 10 for more informative content. And as always, Stay safe and be prepared for any situation.